Let me explain the prepayment application entries. First, we will create a prepayment. Example, debit 10,000, credit 10,000. When you do liability, 10,000, right? Then we got the invoice like uh, 10,000 standard invoice. We done the prepayment application entry. Okay, I hope everyone understand. This is very, very basic example as a AP consultant. Now client will ask requirement. I done the prepayment 10,000, 10,000. I created invoice 8,000. Then vendor, sorry, applied. Vendor refunded to us our vendor given back cash back to us 2000 very very common question critical question how do you handle it simple and these are all very very important points let us take prepayment debit liability liability to Cash. This is common entry. When it comes to 8000 in a wise, we will create a item expenses debit 8000. Vendor liability. Let us take liability credit because we creating in a wise. Right. So 2000, I will not receive directly refund from, I can't apply 2000 credit memo directly to prepayment. First, we should close the prepayment. So create standard invoice. We can call dummy. Then Item expenses debit. Let us take a combination. 14100. 2000. Liability credit. 2000. So it's not original invoice. We can call dummy invoice. Right. Then I will apply to prepayment. I will apply to prepayment. Let me. I will apply to prepayment. When I apply to prepayment, that 2000 will be knocked off. That 2000 will be knocked off. Clear? Now, what is the prepayment status? And unpaid. Prepayment status is fully paid, sir. Prepayment status is fully paid because, sir, fully applied fully applied because there is no balance. Now, create credit or debit memo, negative invoice, against standard invoice, which is a dummy in our language. Then, what will happen? Liability debit Got it? Liability debit minus 2000. 
वॉट एवर चार्ज अकाउंट यू टेक एंड शुड बी क्रेडिटेड दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्ट सेम अकाउंट शुड बी नॉक ऑफ माइनस टू थाउजेंड वेन वी डू रिफंड कैश क्लियरिंग डेबिट then liability correct correct minus 2000 so this is a entry we can do now Understood. Now, prepayment ten thousand you recorded. That will be knocked off two times. One is for personal invoice. One is for dummy invoice. Clear, ma? Prepayment debit ten thousand one time. Personal invoice eight thousand, two thousand credit, two thousand dummy invoice. When we apply the credit or debit memo to invoice liability debit, this one credit. Then item expense debit credit. Clear? So this is the way we need to understand the general item. Tim, did you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You cannot get the refund directly from the vendor. First, we should close the prepayment with the dummy invoice in EBS mixed invoice. Then get the amount. Clear? Any doubt? Yes, sir. Right. No, sir. This is expected interview question. Expected interview question. In invoice time, what goes out to cash as accounting logic? Credit memo time, what comes in? Clear? Right. That we need to understand and expect. I explained this scenario for many times in the real time trainings time. Also. 